Hello everyone, um, so this is Horror Games Tutorial Part 7 and in this video, um, which will be episode 1, we're going to go over how to set up your interact interface and your line trace system which will be used later on in the tutorials on how to interact with doors, lights and other interactable objects. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is you're going to go into your content browser which is control and spacebar and you're going to find somewhere or a folder where you want to create your use interface so you're going to right click go to blueprints and then go across and then you want blueprint interface <coughs> once you've created that you want to name that something so I'm just going to name it tutorial for now and then you're going to open that up and in here all you have to do is just name this whatever you want to call the function so it could be use, open, close, interact um, just name it something and then you want it to be called in editor so you want to check this box that's all you have to do in this screen so we're going to save, compile and then close the second step is you want to set up your use interface or your blueprint interface into your first person character blueprint. So open up your first person character blueprint. If you don't know where that is, it's usually located somewhere along the lines of uh, first person blueprints and then you'll find it. Once you've opened that, you're going to create a custom event. So add custom event, and you're going to name this line trace. So just up here, line trace. Now I've already done that, so I'll delete this one. <coughs> Out of line trace, you're going to drag and get line trace by channel which is this one here once you've done that step we are going to get the reference to your first person camera which is in your components outline on the left hand side you can hold control left control drag and drop and then we're going to get out of this a get world location node so get world location and you're also going to get a get forward vector get forward vector just like that <clears throat> and you're going to link them both up so it looks something like this Now, this is going to get the location of the player's camera, and this is going to get the forward direction, so the, pl the direction the player's looking. Out of forward vector, we're going to get a multiply, so we want to... So out of this, we're going to get this, which is the multiply node, so we're going to go and drag out and type in multiply. <coughs> if yours doesn't look like this and you get something like this then just right click convert pin and then go to float single precision and then it'll look exactly like this and then you're going to type 200 in the input box and then out of your multiply so you're going to get it look like this out of your multiply you want a plus or an addition so just hit plus or type add and then your world location goes into the A and your multiply goes into B so you'll end up with camera get world location get forward vector, 
multiply <coughs> addition and then your get world location goes into the start and your addition goes into the end on your line trace by channel so you can pause the screen there make sure you get it exactly like this and then we'll move on with the code so on your line trace by channel you're going to out of the out hit so you're going to drag out and get break hit result which is this one <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> and then you're going to click the drop down arrow so this one here and out of hit actor I'm going to drag out of that and you're going to get this node so does implement interface and then out of this what we're going to do is the interface that we created so whatever you named it so you can go to the folder where you created your interface so for me it would be this one so out of this you're going to go back into your blueprint and then just click the little arrow and then that'll <coughs> select it in there for you so just make sure you're using the correct one so on the line, line trace by channel you're going to drag out of your output node and you're going to get a branch so you can hold B and left click to get a branch or you can right click and type B R A N C H branch so there's two ways of doing that there <clears throat> so the return value in your line trace that goes into oops that goes into your condition so this basically means that um, did it hit something true okay so it's just like a, a check and let's minimize that the next step you're going to drag out of this branch and get a second branch so out of the true so again branch connect these two up and then out of your does implement interface we're going to drag out of the return value and place that as a condition for the second branch now out of this branch we're going to get our interface which is our little messenger here so to do that you're going to get <coughs> Um, I named mine tutorial and you should have a message written next to whatever you typed for yours so you're going to select the one with the little message on out of true connect that in and out of hit actor from your break hit result you're going to drag that into the target now the next step if you haven't already set up your um, advanced inputs so what you're going to do is you're going to right click and then set up a key so uh, left mouse and then out of left mouse you're going to call this custom event so out of left mouse called line trace <coughs> so it'll look like this now that's everything done and set up you can test this to make sure it works so we can go into our game so we'll do it for one frame so let's compile Let's minimize let's go in and if you left click you can see the laser firing off your line trace this is what it looks like so from the character's perspective 200 units out to detect to see if it collides with a interface so that's it for this one um, in the next episode, I'll show you how to link them. Oh, the ghost decided to throw a milk carton. 
I'll show you how to link those together with blueprints. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one coming soon. Cheers, cheers for watching. Take care. Bye now.